Hello, fellow airport CEOs. We are up for a big day today in our airport. It is expansion day. We are expanding into medium-sized aircraft. Very excited about this. Medium-sized aircraft let you unlock all kinds of new services, such as cleaning services, such as catering services. You might need to be doing some more de-icing. I'm really excited about expanding the aircraft size here. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of money. So my airport here has been running pretty smoothly for a good number of years. You can see we are in year seven, day seven. This is not sandbox mode, this is uh, game mode. Yesterday's operations, uh, we did just under a million dollars here. Kind of a smaller day for us. Uh, let's just see how we're doing days before that. About just under a million dollars there. And just over a million dollars there. So we tend to average about a million dollars a day right around there. Some days we have some really big days and that averages out. You can see we're definitely making money. Let's get into the design. We have our airport here. There's a video on the layout of this before we make this expansion, if you're interested in, in that one. Already built this taxiway foundation and I plan on using that as a connection point to my runway. So let's just get to the good stuff. Build ourselves a medium runway. We're just going straight for concrete, not messing around with the asphalt. I have lots of money to do so. Now I want to go this way. So the airplanes come down here and they use this big long space as uh, basically a queue. So we're gonna put this as close to the bottom as we can, going that way. I'm so excited. I know I just clicked a button and I just placed a digital object, but my heart rate is going crazy. I started this space in here for uh, some terminal space here. Um, and the thought is to have them come in this way, take off this way, right? But land from over here. And then that would bring in the taxiway and they can go in here through the middle to the different sides and then you can leave this way and that way we kind of have this flow of traffic where they're not having to go opposite directions and that really can cause some issues so we have to make sure we have enough taxiway foundation here on the bottom and we're going to need to make sure we put another runway up on the other side i don't want to place that quite yet i'm not sure where it's going to go exactly i do know i need some terminal space so let's just lay that down This here, this looks like a taxiway foundation. So I'm gonna go up the middle, right? But that's because I believe I spaced it out for stands. Medium aircraft stands. Look how big these things are. Now if you look at it, if I zoom in, I can see down here at the bottom, that is the terminal entry point, is my check-in point, and at the top that is my aircraft entry point, that is where they connect to the taxiway foundation. Oops. And as you can see, that's exactly why I put that much space there. Go past self. Now I don't necessarily go I guess it could probably go right there for this one. Um, might as well. We're going to maximize this stuff. 
Let's see how many we can get out of here. I've not done this airport design before, so this is going to be a fun learning experience for us all. You saw I made a mistake there. You can control click to remove what you're building to make sure we speed things up. Okay, that looks pretty good. We might add one, make sure we have nice even space in there. Ha ha! Okay, now taxiway foundation in the middle. Wow. I better make sure I have some contractors actually working. So let's here go to operations. Click on our construction, just max it out. Go. We got a lot of building to do. They're already on it. Now I'm gonna need to make sure there's enough taxiway foundation space here on the bottom. Aircraft stand. Medium concrete, and we'll just match this one and there, and remove that one. There we go. Cutting it close. Not going to be much of a terminal space over there, is there? Runway. Let's get this in here. Must be within the world. Right at the edge. Right there. And then we need to make sure we add a couple ramps. Oh, wrong way. Coming off here. Even though I'm only going to use one, because this will be a one-way runway, I need to always have two. You have to have two ramps connected to a runway for the work. More taxiway. And we're going to connect. I'm not going to even bother up there. I'm never going to be using it. This is going to be a strictly a landing. They're going to land here and they're going to come in and they're going to go into either side of this. So that means over here we need some more terminal space. It won't be too bad. We're going to maximize this. We're going to pretty much use all this, I think, for terminal space. We might end up with the service vehicle space over here. Most of those I've put down in the basement. And again, I'm not even going to use this ramp, so... Watch that trick. You could never get away with this shit in a real airport, but in the game, take advantage of it. Oh, we have built our runway. Excellent, excellent. So, we need to make sure that these are set, that this is a one way. That isn't on. And this way is off. Exit only. And yep, that is the way the airplanes are going to go. We are going to only allow medium aircraft. We will allow commercial flights. 
And we will not allow any general aviation. This is going to be for only commercial flights. These don't even have an option for general aviation. They are only commercial stands. Ooh, boy, we gotta make a baggage claim area for this terminal, don't we? Ugh. If you have not seen the video on baggage claim design, make sure you take a look at that. We're gonna go through it here as well, because we're going through the entire process today. Okay, we have our terminal space, we have our medium size runways, this one's still being built, they're going to come in here. Once the roads are built, we'll start with our tracking. Oh no, am I off of square? I am off of square. Oh no. Well, that won't do. You must close the stand if it's been built and demolish it. Man, you guys really got a bunch over here already. That's unfortunate. That they already built those ones. I have to wait for them to remove them. All right, why were they working on that? Let's see what else we can work on. We're gonna have them come in over here. And we're gonna have, this is all gonna be secured space. And from below, there's our tunnel. Let's make sure we get our runway connected here first. Taxiway. this long way for a queue and they will take off that way most excellent most excellent let's do some upgrades by this is finished uh, approach lights gonna need a BPI or three here one in the middle on the end. Gonna need to add some lights. Runway. 
great, perfect timing. Terminal, infrastructure, aircraft stands, medium concrete. Make sure we line it up better this time. There we go. All right, we're going to need a couple of medium hangers here. So, I know we're going to have some service road behind here anyways. It's a good spot, I think, as any. Include a large radar tower over here. Oh, this looks as good as any. I am keep it up here with the rest of these guys. Make it look cool. All right. I hate every wood. Need a good wind sock. Now, while they're working on that, we got our terminal spaces coming together here nicely. That's good. We're not going to need this. Now, I can staff every one of these spots, but my goodness, that would be a lot. I'm going to definitely be using check-in desks, self-check-in desks. self-boarding desks. Oh, it must be placed inside secure zone. I will do that once some buildings are built. Okay, so we got our airport flow down, I think. Pretty good. It comes in here. Let's see, have they built that runway yet? No, they have not. Okay, it comes in here. The depart to their appropriate gates. Man, we're going to have a lot of gates. It's going to be awesome. And they're going to come over here. So what I'm thinking... I have this vehicle depot over here already. Let's be under transport and service road. Yeah, connect up here. Yeah, let me make this straight. Not high enough. Where does that need to be? Give this some additional space over here. Figure out. I think I'm going to make another entrance uh, to the terminal up here. Um, we only have the one entrance, and this is a really big airport here, so I probably will make another entrance so people don't have to come in here and come all the way through to get to this big, giant terminal. We will make the connection, but 
we're gonna make everybody probably come through. And I don't know if they're gonna need to go much farther than this right now. Well, actually, yeah, they're gonna need to make it to the... Perfect. That work out great, and while we're here, we'll probably put a service lot. Oh, just barely off. Oh. side on this side so infrastructure service road and it can cross over the run uh, this taxiway foundation that won't be an issue there we go now to go up and around right, but I'm hoping we use this one here and then we have Over here, I did not leave enough space to get out or build a tunnel or anything like that, so. Um, you know, that might be an issue. I think I might just ditch this. This guy, it's, I have so many up here already. I'm never gonna need that many. Okay. This way we can connect our service roads a little better. All right, so this is the terminal, that's the terminal. This is terminal space. Okay. Now that we've put down the layout for our medium sized airport here with our runway coming in, going up to our gates here, and then going back out. We have terminal spots here and here. I, I need to connect them. I need to connect them to the other terminal. I need to build a baggage claim area, which will be interesting. And then we need to connect the whole thing to a new entrance way. So I'm thinking over here, this is just going to need to be more terminal space. Can't really be much of anything else. So we're going to make this terminal space. Luggage claim. 
Baggage claim. Make sure you look at the baggage video. I'm not really going to go into too much detail on this. I'm just going to build it. If you really want the detail, make sure you watch the baggage claim video. First thing we have to do is build our baggage bay. That's the most key important thing. And we're gonna have, to have service road going around it. Must be placed inside a secure zone. Oops. Zone. Zone. This can be. We're just gonna make this all terminal space. It's going to be huge. What else is it gonna do? Might not make it all secure, but for right now, just to make it easy. Bear belt system. Baggage bay. And if you scroll in, you can see arrival and departure. And you want the arrows going into your airport so you can see there are service checkpoints here for our service road which we're about to build next we'll click that there and then we go here to our infrastructure and we click on service road and we make all this baggage bay then the staff so I'm thinking up here can be baggage claim on your way out, the baggage claim, and there'll be the security exit points to the terminal entry. So that worked out pretty good. And we can have them leave security somewhere along the line. start working on this terminal up here because this is going to be the new entry point. Should we have a couple gates here? Let's 
security check in. I think three will probably be good. Three check-in security points. thinking that was a wall and not a wall it's just zone problem there we go okay I think it's about time we get this baggage claim area built I'm going to put it here next to security make that the walk-in area and then I think we will leave through baggage claim I'm just going to funnel everybody through there, whether they need a bag or not. And it does not need to be secure. We're going to make that the transition zone. Got to make room for security exits here. It's four squares. claim so I need to make the secure zone just a little bigger bleed over here there we go now I can take a security exit checkpoint voila passengers will now be able to leave the secure area room here for some security desks. Your employees do need to go to their desk at some point. So if their desks are too far away from their working station, it can slow down the entire process.
Making our way back to this baggage claim here. Okay, let's take the baggage bay and connect it up to the upper level. Oh, I do not have terminal space up here, it looks like. going to need to connect over here. I'm going to run, run the conveyors over everybody's heads and down into the baggage claim area over here. Yeah, right around here should work nicely. walls in the middle here. This area will be for the baggage claim transport. And we can go into our conveyor system. And we can go into high speed down. There. And we can go the other way. High speed up from here. This is our arrival side. stations here. Two, one too small. There we go. second layer there by hitting page up and page down. And we can just do regular conveyor belt to it there. And then I 
should be able to put a plant, a large palm tree. Hedges. in the middle. Let's do another set of those. Put in the tilta to sort it, and then you just put it off to the sides. And then they, here we go, arrival set. So the arrival bags come in, they get put there. They go up over here, across the way, and they'll distribute here. Uh, since this is the secure side, sometimes we find that we'll need a restroom over here.
designate this one as the female and this one as the male. Okay. Our baggage claim area is looking pretty good actually. In the bathroom when they exit, we have our ba four baggage areas there. connected to our baggage bay all right now boy there's stuff everywhere guys <laughs> how's this airport coming you guys coming along here still haven't built this other runway a lot to build still a lot to build all right checkpoints are coming together this is gonna be our new entryway Baggage claim. Oh, there's gonna be doors here. Right, we're definitely gonna need some more terminal space above for uh, baggage. Security. Uh oh. Well, they'll figure it out. Maybe check in desks can be over here somewhere. We can put a staff room behind it. these or do we want to make them all automated? I could just make them all automated and not have to worry about it at all, right? Like I could just do a self check-in. Check in.
All right, sure. Check-in desks. Love it. Oops, don't have terminal space up here. Escalator up. Bear belt here. There we go. Here it needs to go into this level three here. If it's rejected, it needs to go into all the individual ones. Projected goes here into the first level two scanner. And then we'll go into guns. And let's see, we're gonna run up against the wall here. Let's see if we can keep this a small footprint. And explosions. There is a short video, well, shorter video on setting up your security. Where I had it a little more planned. This I'm building as we go here, so a little bit more. Spaced out as I try to figure out where everything's gonna go and route all these connections. Let's see, try this one here. And then the last one needs money. Let's start. Projection up here. Everything that's rejected can go to the trash. Uh, that's a good spot. 
Annihilator. It says Annihilator on the top of it on the graphic, but it says Destroyer in the menu selection here. Destroyer right here. Whoops. Just have it in. Now, I have to have another scanner here. For everything that gets passes through level two, things go through another level three, and I need to have a. I wish there was a way you could rotate the input side and just click on it and have it flip to the other side. That would be very helpful right now. I'm just not seeing the way to line this up. Let's just let's skip putting this here. It seems a little excessive anyways. Having two destroyers. Alright, let's just Place another one there. It comes in. Oh, that's not going to work either. All right, let's go back a little bit here. I'm gonna go back that far. I think I'm just gonna have it turn so I can have everything come in from the right side. There we go, let's add. I'm trying to keep a tight footprint here. It's a different design than I've done before. Sorry for the fumbles and struggles here Try as we put it together. Baggage flow is a challenge. Okay, and I don't even think this is going to be the proper setup for a level 3 security efficiency, but let's get this built and move on. It'll be close. We'll come back and review it again later once we add on. Okay, so as we finish the level one, it can come here into level two. I'm sorry, into this level three if it passes. And I think here I can make this sneak over there and connect this ah not far enough i'm gonna have to expand my terminal no way around it make 
that secure. These level three, it's very complicated to get them all worked out and everything needs to hit multiple checkpoints and Just a little further that way. So there's our layout. It comes in, it hits this level. It's a lot of twist in this one. Oh boy. Not connected yet. All right. Rejection path. All right. So if it hits this level one scanner, it's rejected. It automatically goes over here. It will then be scanned by each individual scanning station gets rejected at any point gets kicked off if it passes it comes here to the level three gets double checked it rejects it one way or the other if it accepts it it comes here and hits it again a second time make sure it's okay if it passes through all these individual ones it still gets double checked again so each bag is checked a by two level three stations that is the best thing you can do for security is that each bag is checked twice by a level three security station so that should flow pretty good now we need to make sure our staff can get up here so let's come over here that staff room we talked about and it needs to all be in the secure zone and it is so let's add a door and we'll add an escalator figure out how much more terminal space we're going to need to add here. Probably don't even need to do that much, but back to terminal, go back to our escalator. Oop, can't cross zones. Got to make sure this up here is also secure. There we go. Now I can add my escalator below. And I kind of figured out that the narrow part at the bottom is where they enter. And there's the spot, the wider spot at the top here on the right. That's where they exit. 
that should work. There we go. And then they can get up here to this security stations as needed. In fact, we will even make this a staff room up here. And make this probably security officers only. Janitors you can come into. Well, this looks like a good place to stop for the end of part one here. We're reaching just over an hour time-wise. In the next part, we will connect the terminal to the old terminal, finish up the building, finish up security, connect everything, lots to do. See you next time.